Hello everyone and this is Moving Mark out on the route again with another one of my feature uh, Route 66 Spotlight videos and as you can see there's a gentleman that is doing a little painting on a yellow sign and that's probably a dead giveaway for where we're at today. I'm standing here with Cindy and Tony of the uh, Jackrabbit Trading Post and I want to uh, let Cindy tell us a little bit about the Jackrabbit and about herself and uh, just share a little bit of stuff from the heart on uh, Route 66 and what uh, Jackrabbit is all about. Yeah, well, well, as you know, it's our 70th anniversary this year. I mean, come on, it's a, it's a, been a whole big year of giving away prizes and, and having some fun. And we have still two more months left, so we're going to hopefully have some great gifts. But, but uh, yeah, the, the thing that, you know, about the store it being on 66 is it's a hard life and and we've been here 70 years but all those years have not been good but um there was a few times we weren't sure if we were going to make it from one day to the next you know because from 2007 to 16 it was really really tough i mean our walls were empty our shelves were bare but one I don't know, in 2016, we started doing, getting these mileage signs out there, and boom, things just started picking up, and, and, and here we are, not knowing what the future is going to bring, but we hope, you know, 66 is going to maybe not last forever, but we're doing our damnedest mm -hmm. <laughs> to keep it going, you know, we, we're, it's tough, and, and this is sure helped, and Tony doing all this, it's just amazing, he's, he's, done, he's got such a long list of, of well, I wouldn't want to say honey dues, but store dues here <laughs> because <laughs> because it is a never ending job here and uh, for this old store but but we're seventy years and um we're the the second owner from the you know the first owner and then the second family the second owner we're actually the fourth owner but second family to have this and we've had it um fifty eight of those those seventy years and um Tony and I the longest so far. You know, my parents had it 26. We've had it just over that. Um, so yeah, it's 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 what we do. And, and I and I, I I hate to see the destruction on the route. I hate to have people disrespect others on this route. And so we we're fighting against it. But it's 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 a tough job. And I tell you, if we've lasted this long, who knows what we'll bring? So. Real. If you had something out on the route, or maybe a couple of places on the route, or some individuals have been influencers to you, uh, who and what might that be? Well, my my biggest not here today. My biggest my parents. You know, they my my grandparents. They were the ones that showed us what it meant to be here in a place that was hard to live in. And they were our biggest influence. And if there's people out there on the route um, that, that helped us back in the 90s and maybe the early 80s was Jerry McClanahan. He got a big start for us, you know, with his paintings and, and getting the word out. Um, um, there's, a, there's a lot of people, but I know Angel Doug Odile's out there. Mm -hmm. And he's probably the, what do they call him, the angel of the road? And he's definitely been one that we can give a lot of credit to. And... Mike. Mike. Oh. Michael Wallace, right? Was it? Oh, yeah. It's Michael Wallace. <laughs> Michael Wallace, let me tell you, he got us into the Cars movie. And that was something else. But we knew him before the Cars movie and good friends of my parents. We haven't seen him in a long time. But Michael Wallace and his wife, they are something something else. They 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 truly, truly were blessed to be in our life at that time. You mentioned the Cars movie. For those of them that will be watching this that may not be familiar with the Cars movie in relation to Route 66, can you explain that just a little bit? Well, we're, we're um, the Southwest, you know, Sedona, Red Rocks, the Grand Canyon, the Wigwam Motel, and of course, you know, the Here It Is sign. The Here It Is in was in there. They, they showed up with the, the crew from um, Lassiter and the crew from Disneyland showed us all their, their etchings, their drawings of the plans, and we were just so excited, and we're happy to even, we didn't have talking parts, you know, but the sign was stands out on its own. That's what it did. And, and we couldn't have been more happy, and um, yeah, it was, a, it was a fun time when that movie came out, for sure. We got standing ovations in movie theaters, we got people calling us from all across the country saying, we saw you, we saw you. <laughs> so. well, what do you think is something that we need to do to be able to carry Route 66 into the 22nd century? 
Tony, would you like to say a few words? Well, you know, it's uh, I, 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 some some stores. I'm gonna say some stores along 66 and that there. What they need to do is more push each other. Mm -hmm. Like, Back each other like you know, I mean, it's uh, we have no issue with sending people to the next store, to the next store, and hoping that uh, that store and that will send him, whoever they're going down to the next store. So get them involved in that. And that's the, I think that's the only way that's going to keep 66 going. Because mm -hmm. if you think you just center yourself on uh, you know, trying to get everybody into your store, it's not going to work that way. I think what it needs to be is just, uh, like us, we're always sending everybody to the sand in the corner, go to Williams, Williams, Ashford, you know, so they've been in that word definitely of mouth, in other words, word of mouth you have to push it and kind of help each other out in that there i think in that there so yeah well you've got something bright and yellow in front of you there would you like me to hold the mic and let you hold it up and explain no what it I, is? I, uh, I i can i can uh, i can do it I, I can do both in that there um these are mileage signs in that there um back in the uh i think uh jim taylor Started doing uh, with him and the uh, the uh, gentleman out of Winslow, the uh, store for men and that there. It was a clothing men's only, I'm sorry. And uh, they used to uh, be good friends. They would go up on their days off, leave the help behind and that there. And uh, somebody would be running their stores and they would take off, put up these signs and that there as far as they could go. Come back putting these signs up and that to put the miles and that they there. So. Spot, they put it in and the this, this is what got him the business that he had back then and that there. It's yeah, getting these up. And most people don't... Well, there's, most people know what here it is, but there's a few that don't. Is when you finally get here, that's what after seeing all these signs, it's here it is. So we're you get all that, you know, yeah, bringing it back. And uh, a couple years ago, but it's two years now, yeah, our boy, our oldest boy in that there, decided to get us on Facebook. Her dad had gone down, he was not, he was ill in that there. We knew he wasn't going to last long. And our oldest boy decided to put us on Facebook. And uh, she didn't want it at the time. She didn't want it. It's been a good thing for her in that there, because it's really got gotten her perked up in that there. And she, you know, wakes up uh, even midnight in that. So she's out there kind of checking stuff, and like oh. something pops up. She goes, "I got to put this down," you know. And uh, so it's it's been a blessing in that there. You got that mileage sign. That's a custom order one, from my understanding. Yeah, somebody will order it. You got a uh, yep. ready-made sign. Yep. Oh. We have a we have a small sign in that there. Is that uh, the reason that the uh, Cindy decided to go with these and that there is the uh, people that fly mm -hmm. can't, can't afford it or not. It's hard to handle one of these. They can put one of these in their suitcases and that there. Gotcha. So. And it's light. And then it's light. And then I can get it ready here in a couple minutes. I mean, I could put a sticker ready to go on site. But the big ones is more personal. It's yes, if you want it's the original, original, we go, kind of go off of that there. And then it uh, signed everything at their sign on the back. You get your mileage and all that, then it's sent to you and that there. So, well, what does, Tony? What does Route 66 mean to you? What What do you think of when you think Route 66? Oh gosh, man, it's uh, what we actually have been pretty blessed in that there. You know, it's uh, it's our um, way of life. The way of life in that there. You know, I mean, it's you do what you can with uh, what you got in that there. And uh, we, as Cindy and I, have been pretty blessed in that there. I think. Her mom would say it better than that. There, she said there was always. something about the business here that it's always gonna. It, you might have the struggles in that there, but something about the business. She was very um, Christian, I would mm -hmm. say. She was very, you know, very um, God. Had God a yeah, yeah, had God. I had a reason in that there, and she said that uh, 66 in that there, even though they couldn't be here anymore in that there. And to this day in that there, I think it's. Uh, we were blessed to come here. There was a reason for it, and we come to find out a couple of years later after she con uh, got cancer that they were able to enjoy their life together for a long, you know, so many years. So I'm thinking that's probably why we're. Our gift to them without us knowing. Yeah, without us knowing, and that there. So 66 and that there means a lot to us, and that there. I mean, it's uh, like Cindy says, you may not be here, but we can push it, try to keep it going, and that there. That's what we can do. do. This yeah. Man. Yeah, everybody can do the best they can, and, and I mean, as long as they uh, perky, they wake up, they you know have a good time with people coming in, and I enjoy uh, Cindy and I. We'll get uh, customers don't know what the heck is here it is, and that there, and uh, they'll walk around. They'll, we start talking with them, and that there, and it just catches their interest. You you have the time like you know you and I talking right now. Yeah, you get you catch your interest on 66 yeah, and out there because you enjoy it. Out comes the stories. You, you know, because you enjoy that. that. Yeah, the stories and that they're behind it and that they're what 66 and that they're what the signs were about. And then pretty soon you know it that uh, they catch the interest. They bring their kind kids or their friends. Generation. I've seen friends. People come back with friends. We had a uh, Cindy was gone on a trip and we had a Japanese uh, 
young kid and after in his 20s and that he was out of uh, I think it was Detroit I made him a small sign in that there and uh, uh, rarely that she and I do in that there he goes he made the effort to come in all the way back with his dad and his friend and uh, we I just gave him a sign he was so uh, he was so taken aback that I would actually do that in that there and you know it's stuff like that they go out of the way I think uh, sometimes the people are willing to go out of their way and after I'm willing to kind of you know, say, hey, thank you. We appreciate it, and that there. So we do that a lot. So, yeah. And yep. yep. All right. And look, look what Mark's wearing. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. Here he is on his on his on his jacket. <laughs> I just love these two people. They are they are they're amazing. They're highlights of my trip when I get out on 66. And uh, Cindy, would you like to tell everyone how they can reach you? through social media, your address, where you're located, and all this kind of good stuff? Yeah, well, we're right here on Route 66. We're um, in Arizona. If you're driving, it's exit 269. Um, we have a Facebook page, jackrabbittradingpost.com. We have a website, jackrabbittradingpost.com. <laughs> and yeah, 928-288-3230 is our phone number. Give us a call if you can't get a hold of us. And like these signs right here, you got to give us a call. Get them done. They're not on the website. These are too yeah. big. But yeah. anything else we can do, we will get it done. Or we will try to. Any parting words either one of you would like to, to give as far as maybe uh, new travelers uh, uh, running Route 66? Stop in. Yeah. Don't just take pictures. Stop and meet all the people on the road. Yeah. And what do you like to call that? Drive-by shootings. No drive-bys. No. Nope. No drive-by. Uh, I mean, don't do, uh, don't do you any good because you don't you don't get to. You're uh, not getting the uh, heart you're, you're, of it. You're not getting the heart of '66 or the the history or the places that you stop at anywhere in that there. So no drive-by that, shootings. That's anywhere. Yeah. You have to stop. I know it's it getting worse these out. days too. We can't fight that part of it, but well, yeah, we're know, doing like, the best we can. Yeah, you know, we we took a trip to. Uh, you don't mind if I put that on there? Not at all. You know, we take a trip to Texas and that there, and uh, yeah, she don't like to fly. And I was like, yeah, we're gonna make a, a plane. I told her I'm gonna make a trip, tri a quick trip. We're gonna go there <laughs> and stay straight to Conroe, Texas. She goes, no, no, we're stopping. And uh, you know, actually turned out real, real great. We did a lot of stops along 66 there and that there, and. Uh, Gosh, I mean, it got to uh, surprise a lot of people. We weren't expecting us to come in. And it's a blessing when you have an owner to owner, stop by uh, and meet, agree, you know, visit with them. And it, it's very nice. So yeah. that's, we had a blast doing that. So, yeah. yeah. Thank well, you, Mark. Well, you have heard from two of the best out on Route 66 today. Cindy and Tony, the Jackrabbit uh, Trading Post. It's a uh, stop I always have to make. Uh, my first trip through, unfortunately, the, uh, the, they'd already closed up for the season on Route 66, but I made a point of it every other time, and I've been on the route in this area to stop by. And you can tell their passion for Route 66 and, and what it means to them and what it's meant to their families and everything like this. And you can ask for two better people. Make sure you stop in uh, and uh, check them out. And uh, they've got an amazing selection of, uh, of things that you might be interested in here. And once again, this is another episode of Route 66 Spotlight. Everyone have a great day. Moving Mark's gone.